In this video, we'll work three different Le Chatelier problems and just kind of tie it all together. So imagine we've got this equilibrium here. So we have N2O4 in equilibrium with 2NO2, and delta H for this reaction is positive 57.2 kilojoules. Then we're going to imagine three different situations here. So question one, uh, what happens as we increase the total volume? And in question two, what happens as we increase the concentration of NO2? And in question three, what happens as we, well, let's go with increase, as we increase the temperature? How would all three of these affect the equilibrium? So pause the video and have a go, and then we'll go through it all together. All right, let's go through each of these one by one. So by increasing the volume, essentially via Boyle's law, we've lowered the pressure. So if we've lowered the pressure, that is the stress. So the relief is to try and increase the pressure. All right, so that's our relief. So which way does the equilibrium shift in order to increase the pressure? Well, we need to make more gas molecules. So we're going to cause a shift from the left to the right-hand side. So we're going to see a right-hand side shift. Okay, now if we look at question two, we've increased the NO2 concentration. So that is the stress by itself. So the relief would be to essentially do the opposite. We would want to decrease the concentration of NO2. So how would we do that? Okay, I just snuck and deleted that last arrow. So if we want to decrease the NO2 concentration, we have to take some NO2 and turn it into something else. Not all of it, just some of it. So we're going to see a shift to the left-hand side. So on our ice chart, we would write minus x's under here, and we'd write plus x's under here. If you like, it's almost like q is too large here. And in the last one, we've increased our temperature. So that is the stress. And uh, in actual fact, we can write this a little bit differently. By increasing the temperature, it's like we've added heat. And so the relief is to remove the heat. So we need to remove heat. So the only thing is heat is not a reactant or a product in the equation as we've written it. So we need to fix that. So we can look at our delta H of reaction. So we see it's an endothermic reaction. Heat is being taken in. So 57.2 kilojoules is being taken in for every mole of N2O4. So we can write heat on the left-hand side as if it's a reactant. So that's what endothermic means. We need to remove some heat. So we can go ahead and we can take some heat and some N2O4, and we can convert it into NO2. Notice on the other side, there's no heat. So we've removed heat from the system. So that would be a shift to the right-hand side. That would also be an increase in the equilibrium constant because in all the other situations, the equilibrium constant wouldn't change. But since we've changed the temperature, the value of K will certainly change because we've increased the NO2 concentration at the expense of N2O4. We've made more products, so K would go up. Did you get all of that? 